close your eyes, focus on your breath. Watch each breath as it comes in. Notice where you feel it. You may feel it in parts of the body you didn't expect. That's because you watch. You take the time to watch. Look carefully. All too many people, after a few minutes of meditation, say, okay, what's next? That's enough of that. Well, it's not enough of that. You've got to learn how to look at some things really carefully. There are a lot of things in the world that you can glance at and you can understand what they're all about, but there are other things that you have to look at for a long, long time before you understand them. And the Buddhist teachings are all about looking at suffering, and suffering is very complex. And you're beginning to You'll be able to tease it out only if you look very carefully. There was a monk in Bangkok one time who wrote a book called Buddhism in Five Minutes. It was, it was small enough. You could read the book in five minutes, but the question was, well, what did you get out of it? Well, you know a few facts, but the facts don't really tell you what you really need to know, which is how are you going to put an end to suffering? The books say, well, things are inconstant, things are impermanent. You say, okay, we know that. What, what else is new? Well, the question is, it's how they're inconstant, how they're impermanent, where things change. In particular, you want to notice how your level of stress in the mind changes. It goes up and it goes down. And you want to be careful to watch, well, when exactly does it happen? And when it does happen, what happened? What else happened in the mind as well? What goes along with it? And that's a particular that you can't read in books, no matter how many books you read. But it does come. It's an understanding that comes when you take the time to watch really, really carefully. And you can't ask, well, how much longer is this going to take? Nobody knows. It's like a hunter asking, how long is it going to take to catch the rabbit? Well, you don't really know. When are the rabbits going to come? You don't know. But you do know that if you sit at the right place, they're more likely to come. And if you're very, very still, you won't scare them away. And if you're really alert, you'll see them as they come. That's what you need to know, and then it's a matter of just watching very carefully. That's the same with understanding when stress comes and goes in the mind. Some of the blatant forms are easy to see, but the more subtle ones are really important because they help you tease out what's actually going on in the mind and why it is that the mind takes events in the outside world and brings them in and creates suffering for itself. This is the habit we're trying to understand. It's very quick and it's very subtle, which means that you have to take time and look very carefully. So you want to develop that habit by looking very carefully at the breath. Each time it comes in, each time it goes out, notice where you feel it. Where does it feel tight? Where does it feel constricted? Can you make it feel better? Can you breathe in a way that feels nourishing all the way in, all the way out? Look for things. Watch. Be observant. And as you're observant, you'll notice things you didn't expect. Because, as I said, there are some things you can't explain in a Buddhism in five minutes book, but there's an awful lot you can see only by looking carefully at your own mind. And those are the things that are going to make all the difference.